Hello everyone, Mike here from Watching the Net and in this module I'm going to show you how to identify processes that cause high CPU utilization spikes in Windows and what tool to use to identify those processes. Now out of the box Windows has Task Manager and everyone's familiar with Task Manager but there's some deficiencies with Task Manager and one of them is, is if your computer bogs down on you because there's a process or something's going on that causes high utilization sometimes it takes a while to get task manager open and when you finally do get task manager open what happens well the processor is settled down and you have no idea what's going on and all you're left with is if you go to the performance tab here you're left with this and you have no idea what process it was you can't identify it now you can go back here to the process tab and sort the CPU column from highest utilization to lowest, but you can't be certain that it was that process here, cam the cam recorder, that caused it. So there's a better tool for this. So let's get rid of Task Manager here, we'll minimize it, and go to Google, type System Terminals down, and click Google Search. And what we're looking for here is, is Windows System Terminals at Microsoft's TechNet site. So just click on that. And you may be familiar with this tool. This tool has gotten some great notoriety over the years because it's a wonderful tool to troubleshoot uh, any uh, high CPU utilization. And it can do a lot more. But in this module, we're just going to look at how, how it can help you identify those processes. So in the left pane here, click on the Process Utilities and scroll down to Process Explorer. Just click on it. And once the Process Explorer homepage comes up, scroll over to the right now. Depending on um, when you're downloading this, at the time of this recording, Process Explorer is at version 11.13. So what we want to do is just scroll to the right and look for the download area here and just click on Download Process Explorer and just save it to your desktop. So once it saves to your desktop, unzip it and pull out Process Explorer. Now the best thing about Process Explorer no installation, it's a standalone application, meaning you just click on that executable and it's running. And when it runs, this is what it looks like. So you can see right off the bat from Task Manager, which we saw here, to Process Explorer, there's a whole lot going on and a lot better. So one of the things I like about it is, is when you minimize it to the tray, and what you need to do is go into the options here and make sure that this is checked, hide when minimized you minimize to a tray you'll see already it's right here's task manager and here's process explorer and notice the difference here it's already showing me the the process and the percent of utilization it's using if I go to task manager it doesn't tell me that all it does is just tell me what the CPU usage utilization is so it offers me nothing goodbye now as I said here this is great because one of the things here um, let me cause a little bit more utilization here with Firefox so if we scroll down here hopefully I can show you that we do a little bouncing around here get Firefox to spike the CPU and here. Oh, that's why it's paused so let's do this again uh, yes there you go so let's get him to if I scroll around here there you go can see Firefox calls that if I bounce around anymore we'll let that go by and mouse over it again see it changes so this is a wonderful tool right there it, your trouble hey 50% of your troubleshooting is is being done in this little tiny graph here you can see what's going on now reason why that's important is because you know many times when processes uh, bog windows down and utilization is 100% and you're trying to bring up task manager to see what the heck's going on it's not coming up but you don't need it to come up because all you need to do is just mouse over it wait for the tooltip to show and it'll tell you exactly what process caused that now once you do get control back if you just click on the window here it'll open up the process explorer now if you double click on it or I'm sorry if you right click on it which you can with a better tool here or a better uh, view is system information so if you click on system information it shows you what you're kind of familiar here with uh, task manager but it's doing a lot more see the graph the CPU utilization graph remember if, if it was bogging me down at this point well guess what 
now I can see what's going on because as you mouse over each spike it's telling me the exact process that caused that util utilization there is Firefox now if you need to do some troubleshooting you might want to stop the graph and the way you stop the graph or pause the graph just hit the uh, space bar and that'll put it in pause mode as you can see there it's in pause mode if I, un if I uh, hit it again it's out of pause mode so let me put it back into pause mode so I can show you a little bit more here now as you scroll or as you mouse over each of these you can now find out what process